Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and this is Wife Wednesday. Woohoo! <laughs> a weekly series where he talks with me. I'm sorry, I stole your line. <laughs> you did! That's, that was my part to go. I know, but you know, you took too long. All right then. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you come up with the topics for this. What do you have? This is our last track out before Hope goes to high school. Uh, oh, for people who don't know, Hope goes to a year-round school, so they have this concept of track out. It, yes. It, she goes to school, I think it's nine weeks on, three weeks off? Yes, yes. It's roughly three weeks. Sometimes it's two and a half. And it really doesn't matter. Yeah, so it's a different... Th do we like year-round school? I do, because I think she needs a break. I do, too. I think it's better. I think that... You know, I didn't go to year-round school as a kid, and there gets to be a bit of a grind, a bit of a, like, never-ending, relentless day after day. You live like, for the holiday. You live like, for oh, the holiday. Please, Columbus Day, it's my favorite holiday. You know, like, there's this period between, like, New Year's and what, spring break. my mic. We're hardly... Did I touch He's your mic? He's talking with his hand. <laughs> that was all him. <laughs> there's this, like, huge period where you just don't get... We're in it right now. Yes. And uh, it, it's too long, whereas... When you go to year round, it's like, you know, nine weeks on, three weeks off, and then every so often additional weeks off He's drop in. He's snapping in front of a microphone, too. So just, that's all him. Okay? It's all me. But, but for high school, they don't have year round. Because no. Because it, it conflicts with sports. She's going to have to deal with the the real world. Which means we're going to have to deal with the real world. <laughs> yeah, the real world's not my favorite thing. Oh. I, I have you know, Woody's World. That's where you want to be. Oh, uh, we all want to be in Woody's World. Woody's World's a... We have a song, I Want to Be Woody. <laughs> <laughs> he laughs, but there is a song. Do you know any of the Woody. lyrics? I don't remember it. I want to be Woody and be all by myself. <laughs> How else does it go? Um, and uh, You don't remember the words. Probably like be all by myself. Be all by myself. And I wanna be Woody. Eat all by myself. And <laughs> watch TV all by myself. And go out um, all by myself. And everybody wants about to be being Woody. by yourself a lot. And, you know, this song came out when uh, I do have kids some were little. <laughs> <laughs> like when Jackie was next to kids, like, 24 by 7, and I wasn't always next to the kids Where I like couldn't go to the bathroom by myself. Right. <laughs> couldn't go bathroom all by myself. That was, that was one of the lyrics, right. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Hope's going to hit high school. This is her last track out, so she has three weeks off starting this afternoon. Yes. And she's very excited. And we're yeah. also waiting to hear back about some schools. And right. We have some, we're not sure where she's going to go. And it's just a, you know. Yeah, we're not in love with our local high school. So we're looking because at all the it has options. Too many, a lot of kids. It has three thousand kids. What do you like? I'd love to know what you guys think. If any of you go to giant high schools, like where there's three thousand kids there, do you like that? It, like, like her friend's excited to, to be in such a big school. She I, doesn't want to be recognized. Right. I re like because when I went to college, I thought one of the upsides, or university for your international guys, but what, I thought one of the upsides was like. A little anonymity, you know? You reinvent yourself. You can meet cliques of people who don't even know you. Whereas, like, my high school was just big enough that everyone at least knew everybody. Okay. We had We had 1,200 kids, so every class had 300 kids, roughly. Okay. And uh, I remember mine had 350. Anyway, so with 350 kids, like, you weren't close to everybody, but there weren't many people you didn't know their name. Okay. And... I went to a school where we had 90. 90. So everybody knew everybody. Everybody knew everybody. It, there's pluses and minuses to both. Like if there's 90 kids in your class and everyone knows everyone, then it's sort of a tighter knit group, etc. When you go to college, like, there, there are groups of people who don't even know you. You get to be anonymous and that can be kind of cool too. Yeah, like I, I guess I didn't embrace that in college. Like I didn't think that was like the best thing about college. Is now anonymous. I was like, oh, now I miss my friends from high school. And I, I don't know. You commuted to college. Right. Which, you so you get the same education, but you don't get the fun. No, but I did get to meet you eventually. Yes. That's when the fun started. You know, I was thinking about that recently. Like, what attracted you to me? So I've heard the... The, the, like, the, I, I heard the stock answer, you know, the, the stock answer of like, uh, you were cute and here's the thing. She thought I was cute, which was undeniably true. And a baseball cap. <laughs> and, and uh, shoes. yeah, cause I had like shaved all my hair for, um, uh, for swimming. But anyway, uh, she thought I was cute. Wait, shaved all his body hair. Everything that those tiny little old school bikini things didn't touch. Was shaved. Yeah, because I don't know what I didn't rest. have any leg hair or arm hair or armpit <laughs> hair. Anyway, um, so uh, 
Uh, she thought I was cute, and my major was accounting, so she thought I was some like gonna be a provider type guy. Yes. And she's like, all right, good enough for me. But beyond that, like, what was it that made you think that I would be a good like lifetime mate? Like, what? what you mean? How, but that wasn't like in my, the first thirty seconds of seeing you. Right, I get that, but. You had some hunter gatherer skills because you came over and you know got some jelly beans from us. So <laughs> oh. That worked. Like, so, like, what in the, yeah, I don't know, the, two the, the 19, 20 year old version of you somehow locked in that you wanted to be with me forever. Like, what, oh, what was it I about didn't know, right, me? This is, this is how the discussion Yeah, was normally go. she comes up with the topics. But, and now you're but, putting me on the spot. How like, did I know that you were a winner? Yeah. Oh, God. Um, I'm trying to think. I guess there were some, you know, values you had that translated in, in just kind of like feeling. Like out. morality type things. Morality type things. Mm -hmm. um, like, you know, if I said no, I didn't want to do something in a, in a physical way, you would certainly be like, okay, that's fine, and not and not push me. So the key to my success with you was the lack of rape. <laughs> you didn't say that. <laughs> but that was like listening to me, like listening to my wants and needs. Okay. Was, is, was one of them. Uh, respecting me was another. Being mm -hmm. nice to my family, being nice to um, the kids. You know, we only had um, the oldest at the time, but being nice to all the little kids, like seeing you interact. She's with She's talking other about our nieces and nephews and the kids at daycare and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, seeing you interact with the um, your swim mates. Um, I think I just went British for a second. Did you? Some team, but <laughs> all the mates. Um, you might have yeah. gone Australian there. I might have. <laughs> you know, just the, the way you interacted with your own family. Um, mm -hmm. We went to see your grandmother. Oh yeah, I had no idea that was such a like, a pickup move. It was such a yeah. Move. Like I took her to see my grandmother because we were going to the Camden Aquarium. Yes. And my grandmother lived nearby, and I took Jackie to go meet her. And in my head, it was just like you know whatevs. I'm, I'm near my grandmother. I should yes. drop in and, and say hello. And to her, it was like, oh my god, I'm meeting the extended family. I'm so in. He's so wonderful. I didn't realize that was one of the things that made me as wonderful you as were, I am. You were supportive. Mm -hmm. um, was, you listened. Yeah. You hung on my every word in the first few months. Silly you. You I bought know, that. I bought it. Oh my god, <laughs> such a fool. Uh huh. Because um, really, like almost in the first three weeks, I knew. But sometimes, and he laughs at me. I get a feeling, and that was the feeling. Like I just knew you were the one, and that was it. So, I don't know. Well, how did you know? And we only have like a minute. So in a minute, describe how. I did just you want know? to call out my awesome motorcycle riding. See, in look, this game. his mo awesome motorcycle. Like, he just deflected the question. <laughs> this is where your daughter gets it. <laughs> Dude, how awesome are you? Maybe we should save this for out. Wife Wednesday no, next I, week. I can't Wait, I'm going to touch my mic a little bit because it's twisted. All right. Sorry. So, um, you you know what it really was like if there was one defining characteristic you. of you, <laughs> it, it, well, it kind of related. It, generosity, like in a nutshell. You're, you would do all these acts of service, acts of kindness, and you were sweet and nice and like caring towards other people. And I think those are still the qualities that I value in you the most. So, um, like that, I don't know. You are giving and caring, and I like that about you. And apparently, you still listen to me. <laughs> I still listen. We do. We still talk, have these discussions. Like someone was saying to me that that as parents, her and her husband weren't a team. And I'm like, oh. oh no, we're always a team. No, we're good that way. We talk about stuff, and we yeah. may not always agree. And one of us may calm the other down. Like I very much want my, like I care about how successful my kids are, and that it's there's a team that there's us. A, yeah, we are. Like, yeah, the family's a team. Oh, we have to go. Oh, all right. I'll set up the outro. I love it when you do outros. Oh, okay. So if you like the video, click on like, subscribe in the top <laughs> right-hand corner. I surprise her. I start recording and don't say anything. He does. He just looks at me with <laughs> like this glee on his face. <laughs> Why I'm struggling in Battlefield 3, and I didn't even know I was playing it. And Mail Monday, failing in life, coming out gay, and university. All right. So one of the questions was, I want to go into film. Should I go to college? What would you tell him? Oh, uh, what would I tell them? Mm-hmm. I would go to college because, you know, I think it's a good experience. So what, are you not going to go to college you, you, and just try to get in the industry and stuff like that? Just make films, build your skill set? You can set. make films and still go to college. Then we're going to go to college for film. Yes, but go to college for film and make films at the same time. No one said you can't do both. Not a bad idea. I mean, what, you're going to have five classes, maybe a job? 
Yeah, only How hard are you going to be working? Only in we college. We went to college. It's 15 credit hours considered full time. It's not full time. <laughs> You're not working as much as the rest of I mean, I still have like 20 things to do and I'm not going to be done till 7:30 today. All right, that's the outro. That is the outro. I can't believe Bye. she's complaining in our outro. I'm sorry, but I have stuff that I like they can do both. All right, get to work. Bye.